Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we are going to talk about that uh, a very simple interview question and there are various ways of solving this question. Uh, you have to shift all the zeros in the array to the right side. For example, if this is the array, you have to get the output like that. It means you should get all the zeros at the right, uh, right side. So you, there are various ways. You can simply do that. You can use brute force and then and uh, you can compare the first element to the uh, you know the next element and then uh, and then you can use a swap algorithm and then you can simple swap it and then start using it so end of the result end of the array iteration that you will be getting this certain output but i want to solve it in a different way right that what exactly i can do is that uh, i don't want to touch any zeroth element i just want to touch which is non-zero element and uh, i'll just shift uh, create a new array I mean, I just maintain one new array and this filling the moment I get the non zero element, let's say I'm getting one, two and three and then stored over there and uh, the default value of the array, whatever the left space is available in the new array will be zero in that case. So first I'll tell you what exactly I'm saying that. So for example, let's say you have this uh, input array, uh, this one input array, which is equal to this is your array. We have, for example, let's see one, then zero, then two, then zero. What I want that I'm going to create a new array over here and this array is having the length of a dot length whatever the a length is available so same array I'll be creating it over here let's see b array or whatever or let's see new array name is there like that fine and then what exactly I'm going to do that I'll put one uh, maintain one counter over here for example let's see count is equal to initially zero and then I'll start my looping and then I'll say, okay, for all the numbers, right, in this particular array, which array in the main array, that the input array that you have, and then you put a condition over here that if whatever the number that you are getting, which is not equal to zero, it means give me all the non-zero elements, right? So you get all the non-zero elements and then do what? Whatever the new array that you have created, this new array, right? In this particular new array, you start filling the value on the basis of this count. So whatever the count that you have created, so let's see, this is my count. And then whatever the number that you have received, which is not equal to zero, that non-zero number I'll be storing over here in this. So count equal to zero initially, it was zero. If the match condition is matched with this condition, right? And then I'll keep increasing my count over here. So count plus plus over here like that. This is my for loop. And then I'll be returning the same new array from the function whatever the new array is there so what will happen let's see the new array will be created like that see this carefully whatever the length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 0 2 let's see 7 is there whatever and then what will happen number is not equal to 0 so let's see the first number which is not equal to 0 fine condition is satisfied whatever the number number is 1 will be given to number of zero number of zero is what one okay and then next time zero is available so condition is not matched that's okay don't do that count plus plus first time it happened it means this counter is actually pointing to the counter of number of array this new array fine and then next time two is available this condition is again satisfied count is equal to one is going on number is equal to two two will be stored at the first position like that then again zero will be ignored third will be stored over here and then we don't have any other three also taken then we have all zero so for zero we have not written any logic for that right so don't, we don't need to check the condition for the zeroth element and then you just let it be like that and we know that this is the integer array and it will take the default value of integer array is zero by default over here so what we will do this is my expectation that shift all the zero to the right hand side and then we are getting the numbers over here so this is a pseudo code and explanation for that and let's see how exactly we can see that and i'll show you in the debug mode also let's see i'm going to create this method this method is already there this method saying you give me the array uh, i've already created this array over here like this then i'll do one thing i'll quickly put a condition over here that if because we see whenever you're giving the hacker rank and any online exam for the coding interview in fact at the time of interview also you have to cover at least almost all the scenarios so i simply say that if a dot length whatever the array length so i'll take this a only so let's see whatever the array length is coming right whatever the length of this array which is equal to equal to one because could be possible right i'm just passing only one 
then do what then you do simple return the same array you don't need to come to the next logic in that case so instead of void i simply say i'll be returning one new integer array only then if the condition is not satisfied it means we have more than one elements then i'll maintain one counter over here as i told you count is equal to zero and then i put a condition over here for uh, sorry for loop over here that int that is a number which is pointing to this particular array that we are coming that is the input array and then i'll simply put a condition for non zero element so this condition for non zero okay non zero elements or non zero numbers you can say that non zero numbers and the condition is what the condition is that this number is not equal to zero then only in this case whatever the array that we have to create now so what exactly i'm going to do that i'm maintaining one integer new array so i simply give a name over here that is a new array name what is the name that you want to give is equal to new i simply come over here and i simply say that dot uh, not dot whatever the count is going on and whatever the number that you have achieved simply use the same number over here like that and then do not forget to increase the counter over here count plus plus because we have to keep increasing the counter it is pointer for this array fine and then once it is done you simply return the same new array over here so i simply say return okay so i think this method is ready now i'll do one thing first of all i'll just call this particular method and then i'm simple calling this passing this i and uh, i'll do one thing i'll directly print it in the console with system dot out print dll so how will you print an array you can simply directly use array dot arrays dot uh, to string method you can use it and you can simply call this function directly over here because this method will return one new array you can give it to the arrays dot to string and it will print the exact you don't need to iterate it once again so the output is awesome one two three zero 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 this is what we were expecting right shift all the zeros to the right hand side from this particular input right now i'll do one thing i'll just change the value and uh, let's see if with different test cases what if that my second test is that uh, we have initial number as zero then what will happen so again this zero also should be shifted towards the right hand side so let's see this is this logic is working or not so yes this logic is absolutely working fine it will adding it will be adding one more extra zero over here so this is also fine now let's see some more examples so so guys at the time of interview you have to keep adding your number of test cases so these are my test cases with the different data that my function is absolutely working fine or not so your function will behave like an api and your api function that should you know handle all the different positive negative different edge cases also it should handle it now the third test case let's see i have only one zero element so i simply say that okay one comma two comma three and comma zero which is already there right at the end at the right hand side so let's see the same output we should get it one two three zero over here fine then let's see some more test cases some more test cases that we have let's see only one two three we don't have any zero in it so you don't need to shift let it be like that so one two three will be stored over here like that so this is also absolutely working fine here then let's see some uh, other example where i simply say only zero comma zero comma zero all the elements are zero so in this case what will happen output also will be zero 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 so this is also satisfied then i'll say okay fine that uh, you just give me only one element for one element what will happen for one element we have already written a condition if array dot length is equal to equal to one you immediately return the same array you don't need to write uh, you know execute this particular logic so return the same array that you are passing i'll give it to you the same array so fine when you run it see i'm getting one over here only right and then let's see what if you are passing only zero in this case also array dot length is equal to one the same array will be returned back so it's giving you zero only other than that uh, what if uh, you have let's see if you really want to write some more alternate zero if you have okay obviously it will also work so one two three and three times zero shifted towards the automatically it will fill the array with the zero with the default zero value so these are different test cases that you can write if you want to add some more test cases you can do that but i'll show you quickly that how exactly in the debug mode what exactly the new array how exactly it will be created so i'll do one thing i'll put a debugger at uh, line number nine and then i'll show you in the debug mode so right click on it and simple go to debug as java application and then whatever we are passing a 
the a is this that is the actual input array 1020 something like this this length is not equal to 1 so it will not come inside this condition it will directly create a new array and then i'll do one thing this new array you right click on it and go to watch so i i cannot increase the font but you can see that this is a new array you open it 0 to 7 length because the length is 7 of this a also so initially it is totally uh, 0 nothing is there it will be added with their default integer value that is 0 okay and then count equal to 0 okay and then i'll maintain the count so i can simply write count variable initially count is still not executed so right now it's saying error but the moment i execute count it's saying 0 so count is also 0 and all the values inside the new array also 0 then i'll iterate fine what is the number the first number is inside this particular array which array in this particular array is a what inside this array the number is 1 that is a non zero element so condition is satisfied it will come over here and count is equal to 0 so new array 0 is equal to what number number is equal to 1 so 1 will be stored at the 0 position when you execute the line number 16 so I'll execute that and see that on 0 position 1 is added and then increase the count of the count of count variable by 1 see count is 1 now you can see that count is equal to 1 then the next element is 0 condition is not satisfied so no need to come inside this condition see it's not coming again the next condition uh, the next value is 2 again non zero element condition is satisfied but the value of count is what 1 only fill whatever the number is going on number is equal to 2 so 2 will be stored over there see at the right hand side 2 will be stored over here so like that if you keep uh, running it see so again we have 0 then we have 3 number condition is satisfied and 3 will be stored can you see this array 1 2 3 got stored right and then we have 3 0 so it will not happen inside the condition see it's not coming inside that condition and then everything is done and then it will return this new array so this is a final new array you will be getting it with 1 2 3 0 0 0 and then that's why we are getting it over here converting into two string and printing it so when you simple run it you will see the output as 1 2 3 0 0 0 same thing if you are passing this only 0 let's see if i'm passing only one single element let's see i'm removing this so the length is equal to 1 and I simply going to run in the debug mode quickly this is also condition that's good that we have to add a is equal to what only one single element 1 the length is equal to equal to 1 immediately return the same array so it will not come over here so immediately it will be returned back I see it's coming over here and will print whatever the value that you want to same array will be printed over here now let's add uh, one more some more tests over here I think uh, what if the duplicate elements are available for example let's see we have all a 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1 is available right so in this case also it should work and let's run it so you can see that all 1 is available at the left hand side and the 0 is available over here like that so and one last thing we can do is uh, simple right let's see we have only one element is available and all the duplicate one so it should give you only one over here like this zero 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 we have already covered over here fine now if you really want to sort it uh, in the reverse order so what will you get you can directly sort this guy but uh, the problem with this is that let's see if you really want to sort it so how will you do that it means all the zero you really want to shift towards the uh, left hand side so in this case you can directly use arrays dot uh, sort and pass the i over here and then you simply write system dot out of print ln arrays dot uh, to string i over here and then when you print it so you will see that uh, it's 0 0 0 coming at the left hand side and the 1 2 3 coming at the right hand side but the problem is that it will tomorrow let's see for example if you have uh, some more uh, let's see 1 and then you have uh, let's see this is a 20 and then then you have a 4 and then let's see 90 so let's see in this case what happens it will just the basis of the numbering order not in the same order that is written over here so it see it's giving you output like this 0 0 0 and then 1 1 then 3 4 then 20 and then 90 like this all the 20 is coming before 90 so it will not maintain the same order it will just sort it so that's not a good solution so that is your assignment guys how will you shift all the zeros to the left hand side i could have done in the same video but this video will be then a uh, okay lengthy video i can prepare a separate video for that 
that's all for this particular video guys i hope you like this particular solution printing all the zeros or shifting all the zeros towards the right inside inside the array thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all